Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm answering question number 22 from the specimen paper for the <coughs> Cambridge IGCSE 0580 syllabus. This is for the new syllabus of 2025. This is paper four, which is the paper which calculators are allowed for. And here we have a question about vectors. It says the diagram shows triangle O, P, T. It says in the diagram, the vector from O to T is denoted by T. So that's all the way from there to T, all that way. And O to P is P, is a vector P. Now O to K, the ratio O to K to K to T is two to one. So this is two parts and this is one part. So three parts all together. This takes up two parts, that takes up one part. And T to L to L to P is also two to one. So these are not a length that I'm writing down, just like kind of ratios. So it says find in terms of T and P in its simplest form, the vector from P to L. Okay, so we're gonna find the vector from P to L. Now, as we can see, P to L is a part of the line P to T. So we can say P to L is equal to it's like a fraction of the whole length of P to T. So there's three parts all together and P to L makes up one part out of that three. You have one part, and two parts. So P to L is going to be one out of three, one third of P to T. Okay, and we can see that we can find P to T quite easily. Let me just make that a bit neater. It's a bit of a mess there. One third of P to T third of P to T. Okay. And we can see if you want to go from P to T, we're going to go minus P plus T. So that's going to be a third of, you can, I can say P to T plus, sorry, P to O third of P to O I'm just showing all the steps here plus O to T. Okay, so a third of P to O plus O to T. So P to O is negative P. So we're going to have a third times negative P plus O to T, which is plus T. So our answer in the end is going to be minus one third of P plus one third of T. So we can write it if you want. One third T minus one third P if you want. Both both of those are correct. So there, there we have the answer. That's not a capital P, that's a, a small P. Okay, so now, question two says, find the vector from K to L. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just take a copy of this diagram that I put down there. Paste it up here. So we want to find the vector from K to L. I don't want to keep scrolling up and down. So I'll just keep this here. So from K to L, from K to L is along here. So we can see if I want to go from K to L, I can go from K to T and then from T to L. Okay, K to T is no problem. That's one third of T. And T to L is going to be, it's going to be like the opposite of this. Okay, so you can, you can find what T to L is. All right, it's going to be minus, it's going to be the opposite of this, and it's going to be two thirds instead of one third. So it'll be minus two thirds t plus one third p. We could do that quite easily. All right. So we can say t to l is going to be equal to, uh, sorry, k to l, not t to l. k to l is going to be equal to k to t plus T to L. We can even go the other way around and get the same answer. But this is, you know, maybe a bit shorter. Maybe it depends how you think of things. So K to T is one third of T. It's one third of T. So the same direction and it's one third of the length. And that's two parts. That's one part, three parts altogether. And T to L is going to be the opposite of this. And two thirds. Okay, it's going to be two thirds, and because it's, it's, this is two, this length is two thirds of that length. So you know, the, of the whole length, this is one third. So together they add up to one th to to a whole. 
So basically T to L is going to be basically plus a third P and minus a third T. Okay, that's one way we can do it. We could also go there by doing K to L is equal to K to O plus O to P plus P to L. Some, some people might find this easier because we can see K to O is minus two thirds of T and O to P is just P and P to L is the answer from here, which I'll write in this form, a third T minus a third P. So hopefully both of them will give us the same answer. I'm just doing it in both ways so you can see. So you have a third T, okay, um, you have, so this is, that was a third T, and you had minus a third, minus, that's supposed to be two thirds, by the way, sorry. That was supposed to be two thirds. I, I mentioned two thirds, I wrote one third. Sorry about that, let's correct that. That was supposed to be two thirds. That's supposed to be minus two thirds T, right? So here we have a third, um, minus two thirds T and you have two, so you're going to end up with two thirds of P minus um, a third minus two thirds is minus a third T. And let's see, this gives us the same answer. We're going to have P minus a third P, which is two thirds P. And you have minus two thirds T plus a third T, which is minus one third T. Same answer. Okay, so whether you go this way around, which I messed up there in the beginning, I put a third instead of two thirds. So K to T plus T to P, T to L. And T to L is like, um, instead of one third, two thirds of this and opposite signs because it's going in the opposite direction. Okay, or if you want to go the other way around, the long way around, K to L, K to O plus O to, sorry, K to O plus O to P plus P to L. Minus a th two thirds T plus P plus the answer to that. In both cases, we get the same answer. All right, so there's your answer to parts A, 1 and 2. And now for the answer to part B, it says here, KL is extended to the point M. So KL is extended to the point M. So I'm going to um, draw a line and just extend it. So KL from here to there is extended further on to the point M. And it says, um, they gave us a vector for that, and it says, show that M lies on OP extended. So if I take OP and extend it, what they're saying is M lies on that line. M lies where these two lines meet. Okay, and they told us the vector from K to M is equal to minus two thirds T plus four thirds so we got to show that M lies on the extension of the line OP. Okay, so basically what they want us to show is that OP and M are all on the same line. On the same line, that's what we have to show. Okay, that is for us to show. If we can show that OP and M all lie on the same line, then we can say M lies on OP extended because it's the same line. All right, so what we can do is we can find the vector from O to P, which we know is equal to P. And we can find the vector from O to M, which is going to be, in terms of what we know already, O to K plus K to M. So O to K is two thirds. Remember, this is two parts, this is one part. So it's two thirds of T plus K to M they told us already, which is going to be minus two thirds T plus four thirds P. So we can write it in this way, four thirds P minus two thirds T. And what happens here? Two thirds minus two thirds is zero. So you're left with four over three P. So we can say that O to P is P and O to M is four over three P. Okay, so we can see that O to P and O to M are multiples of each other okay they are multiples of each other okay so they must be going in the same direction okay so we can say 
as O2P is a multiple of O to M. Okay. Okay, you know, so something typed, same vector. Okay. And they both pass through O. They both pass through the same point. Because, of course, if they're O to P and O to M, they must both pass through the same point. Okay, therefore, they are collinear. What you can say is collinear. Collinear means they lie on the on the same straight line. So we can now say, let me just get rid of this minute. So we can say, therefore, M, so therefore M lies in OP. M lies, lies on OP extended. Okay, so that's how we can deal with that. For this, we could also do something else, which I'm going to just make a bit more space and show you. What we could do here is we could say O to M is equal to four thirds of P. And O to P is equal to um, P. Okay, O to P is equal to P, right? So what we can say here, if we rearrange this, we got th three over four O to M, is equal to P. Okay, so if they're both equal to P, they're equal to each other. So therefore, we can say O to P is equal to three quarters of O to M. Okay, or the vice versa, we can say O to M is four over three O to P. So if you can express these vectors in this form, then therefore OP and OM are both in the same direction. Okay, so OP and M are both in the same direction. Um, and they both they both go through the point O, so they must be on the same line as well. Okay, so we can mention that if you want to write it like this. Sometimes I might say what you know, express O M in terms of O P or O P in terms of O M, whatever. So we should know also how to deal with that. So there's the answer to this question number twenty two from this specimen paper. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear at the top right of your screen at the end of this video. Other questions from the topic of vectors from this collection of questions post uh, 2025 uh, syllabus can be found in the playlist over here. Vectors questions from the previous syllabus, which is still valid for this in, in most of the topics, you can find in the playlist that will appear at this part of the screen at the end of the video. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link at the top. Thank you for watching and see you soon.